Okie dokie. So for Superman Returns, I'm giving the action three stars. It might be disappointing from all audiences because there are no fight scenes in this movie whatsoever. But it got the Richard Donner or Christopher Reeves formula. Got rescue scenes like the plane rescue, the kryptonite lifting through space, and even some rescue in Metropolis. That makes it exciting. You can feel the Christopher Reeve formula in Brandon Rapp form in 2006, which is very rare to other superhero movies. For the comedy, I'm giving it two stars. The comedy got pros and cons. Some of the jokes are funny, and Brandon Routh's Clark Kent has a good sense of humor. However, there are a few jokes that are a bit forced and can be out of place. For the storytelling, I'm giving it three and a half stars. The story is interesting, well-intentioned, but it's also a bit slow-paced and predictable. The film spends a lot of time on the character development and plot, so the action scenes can feel a bit sparse at times. But you can tell the story is faithful to Richard Donner's mythos on our favorite Superman. The characters are interesting and well-developed, and at the same time, it's really good. However, the action scenes are not as frequent, and it can be predictable, but in my opinion, this is what Superman 4 should have been. For suspense, 3 stars. The film does a good job of building suspense, but it doesn't quite reach the level of some other superhero movies. But as you can say, the film's slow pace can sometimes make the suspense feel a bit drawn out, as Superman tried to figure out if he can go back to Krypton or stay on Earth, as Lex Luthor tried to find a way to kill him. And that's it. The suspense might be drawn out. It might be very disappointing. The pacing of this movie, I'm giving it two and a half stars. The pacing is questionable. It has a slow start on the first act, but it picks up speed in the second half. The slow pace can sometimes make it a feel boring, but when it comes to the second and third act, it makes it so exciting. The pacing of this movie is very decent. It can be mixed bag, but overall, the movie is really good and enjoyable, despite the pacing is very boring. For casual fans who love Superman but no fighting but rather a realistic side of Superman who loves rescuing and saving people filled with symbol of hope, this one will be definitely on their list. I'm giving it A. For cinephiles, I'm giving it B. And critically, I'm giving it A. Say what you will about Superman Returns, but despite its flaws, this movie is still a decent one. It is well acted, well directed, and features some impressive special effects despite its 2006. The film also has a heartwarming story about Superman's struggle to balance his personal life with his superhero duties. And also one of characters that are really well written, even though there are no action and the pacing might be downgraded the quality, but you cannot deny that Superman Returns is a flawed yet exciting and enjoyable conclusion to the late Christopher Reeves as our Man of Steel indeed. Thank you, Brian Singer, to concluding the Man of Steel's epic journey until the very end. Until Man of Steel, directed by Zack Snyder, came out. I'm giving it 7.5 over 10. An underrated Superman film indeed. You should definitely add it to your collection at home. The fine addition to my collection.